So y'all, look at all these messages. Y'all love me. Randomly th thought about you. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> you pregnant. Somebody invited me to a Bible study. Y'all are so amazing. I'm back, y'all. I am back. It's Friday. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. And I'm actually excited to be back. Well, let me, no, I'm not excited to be back, but I miss y'all. And but I wanted to start off by first getting me some Starbucks. And I know a lot of y'all probably thought I was about to pop back out pregnant. Your girl's not pregnant, okay? I just needed a break from social media, which I did. And I'm going to let y'all know why. But first, I am going to grab me some Starbucks. And y'all know y'all girl got a gift card. So of course, I'm going to use my free money and get me some Starbucks. That's what the gift card is for. So I'm going to get me some Starbucks. I have been getting so many emails and people praying for us, just wondering if we are okay and how's the family doing. And I just really appreciate y'all. Before we even get into what's been going on in my life, let me grab this cup of coffee because we got to have a conversation. I'm trying to figure out if I want something hot or if I want something cold. Like, do I want a cold iced coffee or a frappuccino? Hi, can I get a grande double chocolate chip frappuccino? Anything else? And then also, can I get a brownie warmed up, please? Okay. And that completes my order for today. I don't know if y'all ever had a Starbucks brownie warmed up, but y'all have to get y'all a Starbucks brownie warmed up. Thank me later. Thank me later. Get you a Starbucks brownie warmed up. It is so hot out here. I cannot have my windows down. Texas has been like 106 degrees, 108 degrees. When I say I'm so happy that I changed my life because if this is what hell feels like, baby, I, one thing I ain't gotta worry about is heat because I would not be there. But I would rather this heat than hurricane weather. So I'm praying for everybody that's being affected with the hurricane weather and storms because been there done that as well and that ain't it, okay? Everybody at Starbucks always get them refreshers. I've tried to refresh her and I just don't get the hype, but I want to love it so bad just because everybody buys it. Can I pay for the person behind me? How much? Um, I'm going to pay the rest of my wallet. You want to pay for their order? Yes, behind me. Oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry. So pretty fine. Okay. You can use the card. Oh, okay. I didn't know if I had anything remaining, I was gonna pay with the rest of my card. Oh. Wait, what? Sorry. You paid for my order and the person in the back of me, correct? Okay. Yeah, but the remaining is just 7.30. Okay. Sorry. I guess I didn't need extra coins. I think I was confusing her. Thank you. Look how good this looks. Thank you, have a blessed day. All right, y'all, and then I like to hurry up and dip out. I like to dip out right after I pay for anybody because people will try to track you down and tell you thank you and you didn't have to do that. And I don't never do it for the accolades, the extra credit, the hand claps, or to feel good um, about myself to rant and rave. I just do it because that's just my heart. I've always had a big heart. Even when I've been used plenty of times and taken advantage of, I've never stopped just having a big heart because that's just who I am and I just love who I am. So that's just who I am. You take the loss, that's on you. You take advantage, that's on you but it's not gonna stop me from ever being a good person. So today is Friday. Um, Y'all will probably see this Sunday. So just keep in mind, whenever you can, pay it forward Fridays. And sometimes it doesn't always have to be about paying for something. You can hold the door open for somebody. You can be a listening ear. You can help somebody with their groceries. You can pay for somebody's groceries. There's just so many ways to pay it forward. So don't feel like it has to just be money related. You can help someone pump their gas. They don't have to get out the car. And there's just different things that you can do to pay it forward. So just make sure you're paid forward. And that is my good deed for today. And honestly, ever since I changed my life, I really try to wake up every single day asking myself, what is it today that I can do to please God? Because that's really the big picture. So God be the glory that I'm able to be a blessing to somebody else because it's a blessing to be a blessing, okay? I had to do this in a car because I'm like, queen just be doing too much. <laughs> queen be queening, okay? Uh, my phone overheated. That brownie didn't stand a chance. Like I said, get y'all brownie warmed up. Brownie didn't stand a chance. It's gone. Not notice. I have been off social media for over five weeks. Maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't. It's okay. 
you know, everybody has a life and something going on. But I had had some wake up calls during this social media break. I had more supporters that noticed I was gone than people. Let me put my phone on do not disturb because we ain't about to do this. I'm trying to get a tea. I had to take a break from social media. And I know a lot of people thought I was pregnant. A lot of people didn't know what was going on. And I've never done it in the history of having social media. The longest I've ever been off social media, I think that was close to like a break was when I found out I was pregnant. But other than that, for the history of me being so, on social media, ever since I've been on social media and I created an account, I have not taken any long breaks from social media. I'm very active. Everybody knows I post every single day. If you're in my subscriptions, you know that I'm posting daily. Um, that's just me. I, that's my life. That's how I make my money. And yeah, so for me to be off social media, for over five weeks, over a month, it's crazy. Before I got off social media, everybody knows that I had changed my life. I have gave my life to God and um, I got stopped. I had stopped doing a lot of things that I once was doing before. Like I stopped partying, drinking, etc. And I would get into that in another video. I realized when I got into the walk that when I got on social media and was being on social media as I'm trying to grow spiritually in my walk, it was just very distracting. It was just so negative. And I just felt like it was just putting me in a place where spiritually growing, I was gonna be delaying my spiritual growth. Let's just say that. So what I had to learn was that I had to get off social media. I felt like I was still trying to have control of too many things and I wanted to let go of my control. And that was like my test, not my test, that was my way to show the Lord that I am letting go of all control, trusting in you. So I got off social media so I can show the Lord my faith because I felt like I was still trying to control everything. I changed my lifestyle, but I was still trying to control everything. I didn't have faith in God. So I got off social media to prove to God like, well, God, you know, this is how I make my money. You know that I teach classes. You know that I show receipts that the days that I show up, I make this amount of dollars. The days that I don't show up, I make nothing no amount of dollars so you know that for me to get off social media and the history of me having a social media account and me not leaving social media you know you know you know lord that i just won't do it because that's how i make my money and that's also how i pay my bills like for people people be like y'all act like the internet is a job the internet is my job that's how i make my money that's how i built my community it is my job I'm not going to sit here and act as if it's not because that's how I make my money. I don't have a nine to five. Um, I make my money off the internet. I don't do billboards. I don't do radio ads. I don't do interviews. So this is how I make my money from marketing on social media. So that was just the first reason why I got off social media. I just wanted to show the Lord my faith. And I feel like that was the biggest thing to show the Lord my faith in him and let him know like here, I'm letting go of control. I'm letting you have it all. I'm letting go, I'm letting God, and this is my way to show you that I mean it, and I'm trying to grow spiritually, okay? So that was the reason I got off social media. I told myself I was going to be off social media for 30 days, which I was off social media for a little over a month and a week. And honestly, I'm only back now because I have events coming up that I'm speaking at. And of course, being a social media influencer, you have to promote those events. You have to show people where you're going to be at. And, you know, you got to bring in um, ticket sales and just let people know what's going on. Like, I don't want to be at an event and then people be like, well, I didn't know about the event. So you have to promote the event. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so y'all can really thank them. So I have two events that I'm doing, which is why I'm back. Um, honestly, I wouldn't have been back as soon. Well, let me not say as soon. I just wouldn't have been back. I would have took myself a little bit more time. I wouldn't have felt. I wouldn't have felt like I had a date to come back. But I felt like I had a date because these events are in two weeks. So that's only two weeks I get to promote. Okay. So that's second. So while we're in our social media, y'all, I have a lot to catch up on. A lot has happened. So I had a lot of reality checks and just think revelations and just understanding and just time to really just be by myself and just see who's really there for me, see who really cares, who even notices, spiritually grow with the Lord, and for him to be able to show me things as well. What I've learned, one of the things that I've learned, and I'm gonna discuss it in this video, just many things that I've gotten being off this break off social media. People are more social on social media than they are in real life. I have people that know me in real life 
and on social media, they are more social with me with comments and DMs than they are in real life and they actually have my number. And it just came to a revelation how we are so caught up into the image of social media. Everybody wants to look like they're connected to somebody. Everybody wanna look like they got so many friends. Everybody want people to know this is who I mess with. I'm connected to this person. But people only do it for an image. And I'm not gonna say most people only do it for an image because that would not be fair. Most people I feel like do it for an image. It's just all a look, even just from who you hang with these days and who people decide to follow and who people let to come to certain things. It's just an image, it's a look. So being off social media, I got to see a lot of people that personally know me are most social on social media because it looks good. And those who personally know me are less social with me in real life. So during this break, I'll probably say I've probably had less than a handful of people that actually reached out. Um, that actually noticed I was gone. And these are not even from people that I consider like to really that I that I was feeling like would be checking up on me or should have checked up on me or should have noticed before anybody. These are like brand new friendships that I'm building. Um, and it was just a wake up call because I'm the type of friend like I notice when people go missing, I can tell when someone is down and I get everybody has a life, everybody has things going on. But to be off social media for six weeks, over a month, for somebody that posts every single day, to know me personally and to know I always post, for people to know when I don't post a day and be on the edge, for people that I personally know in real life, I was just a big wake up call. It went to show me like, everybody don't really care. People like what looks good, they like the image of being connected to you. They like the image of looking, you know, like they're there for you, but people don't really mess with you. Um, and so that was an eye opener for me. I just realized social media is very, very addicting. It's the first thing people check in the morning before they even pray. Um, it's so negative, it's become so toxic. Every time I get on there, it's gossip, it's blogs, somebody's mad. Um, even with me changing my life, I feel like where I'm at now in this space is good. This shouldn't be a bad thing. Growth should be a beautiful thing. And yet people want to make this walk something where it's just like, they're upset about it and I don't understand that. And it just shows you how miserable people are on social media. So I just realized how um, social people are on social media for the look, but they aren't really social in real life. Like people don't really care about you. They don't care what you got going on. They, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I feel like people are around that you personally know, I kind of feel like they're monitoring spirits now. Like people that are just lurking, just want to see what you're doing just in case I need something just in case, I don't know, just in case, but it's not really like a genuine thing. So that is what I realized. And I understand, like I said, everybody has things that's going on, but as a friend and the friend that I am, I just notice certain things. I don't have a lot of people that I call friends, but um, that's just me. People don't realize how they, are in a, how they are truly influenced on social media. Like this is just something that's coming to my head right now, like music, people don't realize how music is so influencing. We went from city girls, you know, to gorilla, you know, F free, to now we're supposed to be soft girl era to acting bad. Like if that doesn't show how music is influencing people, I don't know what to tell y'all. And people think it's okay. Like, and it's so funny because we went from these city girl summer we outside don't need no man and the reality is everybody wants to feel loved everybody wants to be spoiled these women don't really want to be independent they really do want to be soft women loved and getting affection and loved properly but yet because social media makes everything a thing people are influenced by it so we went from city girls to gorilla to soft girl to act bad and who knows what's new i ain't been on the internet i don't even know the latest rap song that's out honestly so i couldn't even tell you what's new but i just wanted to say like that's how easily influenced we are on social media like and it gets to the point where certain things will go viral and they will become popular and then it makes it on social media look like it's okay like people will take a toxic post and because it's being posted so many times they are trying to make toxic okay, and it's not okay. 
people really need to heal. People really need therapy. People really need therapy. Like people are really still going through things from their childhood. People still have trauma. People are still having grief. But because a toxic post would get so many likes and so many reposts, it has been an influence thing where people think it's okay. Being toxic is okay. Being toxic is cute. Being toxic is a new way to show that you love a person. Ride or die, right? We don't realize how influenced we are by social media. So it was just like me stepping off of social media, I didn't have to really worry about too much in my ear. And even when I just joined the walk on social media, like joining the God lifestyle, there were other influencers that joined as well. And they either converted back or were back paddling. And I feel like it's because of social media, the influence of social media. Because everybody wants to do what's popular. Everybody wants to do what's in. Everybody wants to do what's trending. Everybody wants to do what's going to make them look good. Everybody wants to do what's going to make them be seen. Like it's clout chasing and validation. And people are now playing for blue checks. This is how social media has become so addicting. And people want to be validated off the app. That people are paying for a blue check. Even if they aren't important. Even people that don't really feel important in real life. Don't feel secure for who they are in real life. But they are buying blue checks to be validated by people who really do not care about them at the end of the day. Internet is influencing a lot of people's lives. And I always say, if it wasn't for certain things that people put on the internet, people wouldn't even want it. Like when I think of the Hermes bags and the um, Bankley bracelets, they look like nothing to me. They're like regular Target accessories. But because people post them and they're of value, now everybody wants it. People want things because everybody has it influencing because they see everybody else have it and they equate things to success not everybody wants things people think things are going to make them happy but you will always have to get the newest thing to remain happy because once you get that thing it may be new then but then a new thing comes out and now in order for you to be happy you're going to have to get that new thing so if you're always chasing things and always wanting things and equating that to success you're never going to be happy because you're gonna always have to have every single thing in order to find happiness. That is not, that's not what life is about. Life is not about things. And I even realized how blessed I am right now with the things that I've had that I've never really acknowledged because I've always been on to setting a goal and going straight to the next goal, you know, making 6K, then making seven figures. And, you know, I'm just reaching all these accomplishments and having a home where you just feel like that's something you're supposed to have when really it's a blessing. Not everybody is living how I'm living. Not everybody has a nice car, a nice home, a beautiful family, a loving husband. So there's just things that I realized I took for granted because social media has influenced us to, you know, work, 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 grind, 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 take no breaks, do what you love, die when you sleep. And it's like, you will sleep when you die. But even now that I'm in the walk of God, like we're, the only way you die is if you go to hell. Like this right now earth this is intent for us our our actual home is literally in heaven you live for eternity if you become of god if you give your life to god and become saved when you leave your tent here on earth you will be home in heaven the real home the real luxury we are really living yolo you only live once and you don't you only live once but you can live eternity if you give your life over to christ so even then it's like i'm just done living for these world things you can have all these world things and still not be happy and i know people in real life who have all the things and they are not happy they are not at peace they are not they want love they don't have love their kids wish that they had their parents. Like it's just, and this is not me being shady or anything. This is just real life situations. But because people don't broadcast these things on social media, everybody feels everybody's just living a life. Everybody's just so happy and so peaceful. And behind these pictures, people are really hurt. Behind these pictures, people really need to heal. Behind these pictures, people are grieving. Behind these pictures, people are brokenhearted. Behind these pictures, people are just insecure and depressed and suicidal but social media becomes so addicted that people are so addicted to stealing the joy from their lives by comparing their lives to people on social media people aren't even happy and realize what they have because they're so worried about what they don't have 
she has that why don't I don't have that it's so much jealousy and then it comes with anger and it's just not okay like every time I log into social media it was nothing literally blogs gossip someone getting killed you know we on a trend for a while we off of it we on to the next thing like social media has truly changed the narratives of a lot of people lives but in a bad way in a bad way people don't realize how much they scroll like scroll literally scroll all day and then you look back and your screen time is like five hours on instagram and you've accomplished nothing you did nothing you're not growing you're stagnant you're busy watching everybody else flex watching everybody else grow watching everybody else be rich watching everybody be negative and then you look at your life and you have nothing to show for it because we spend so much time consumed into social media into other people's lives that we miss out on our growth we miss out on our achievements and sometimes people look at other people's lives and feel like they can't achieve it because everything is so fast-paced everything seems so unachievable where not everybody wants the fast money nobody wants to do the work because on social media everybody look like they taking fifty dollars and making multi-billion dollar companies because every ebook that's out and master class and webinar everybody is talking about how they flipped a hundred dollars and made it a hundred million how they took their last fifty dollars how they struggle so people feel like now they have to struggle like that's a part of success now people feel like they have to struggle to make it struggle is not a part of success you should not have to struggle to be successful but when sometimes people don't realize we create our own storm storms that we create and we create our own storms most of the time because we're influenced by social media it goes by social media people quit their jobs because they feel like a nine to five is no longer worth it because everybody's an entrepreneur everybody's a boss people's quitting their jobs because everybody feels like they should be a boss and nobody should be working for some of us are supposed to be workers for other people we aren't that disciplined to be our own boss a lot of us barely want to do the work clocking in there is no being paid there is no just clocking in and being paid regardless if you do the work and sit on your phone and and laggy guy you can't do that being an entrepreneur you can't just be an entrepreneur and not do the work and have and have do it and sit around and be lazy and not market and not spend no money you cannot do it so it amazes me how people feel like entrepreneur world is going to be like nine to five world where you can clock in and basically y'all know how y'all do go to work and barely do what y'all supposed to be doing come home and be like girl i barely did anything today and you still get paid you cannot do that with entrepreneurship everybody is not meant to be an entrepreneur and I feel like that's a reality people need to know because social media, once again, is influencing everybody to be an entrepreneur. Everybody is not meant to be their own boss. It's not for the week. It's not overnight. There is no formula. No one can sell. It's just like no one knows the Krabby Patty formula with SpongeBob. Y'all not going to know the formula to success overnight because there is no such thing as success overnight. You got to do the work. You got to spend the money. You got to invest the time. You got to get up, got to have energy. You got to show up. But social media is fast paced, grind, 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 struggle, and then you'll be successful, quit that job. You have to realize and take a step back and be like, what do I have my life centered around? And a lot of people have their life centered around social media and other people's lives and not their own. Everybody has a podcast, everybody has mics, so there's so many voices and so many different opinions and things being said that people don't realize how influenced they are by hearing all these different things. And once they hear a lot of the things that are the same thing, and, and just because a lot of people are saying the same thing does not mean it's right. The actual, so what is my life centered around? And some people don't realize it's really centered around social media. You hear so many voices and people with their opinion. And a lot of the voices that you hear and people aren't even credible source for but everybody has access to a mic. So those voices are just voices that are influencing you one way or another and you don't even realize it. Listening to the wrong voices on the internet and too many of the wrong voices on the internet can lead you into the biggest regrets and mistakes of your life. Things you can have, could have avoided. Probably could be further than what you are now if you just didn't listen to certain people and let the influence of social media delay you. Or not even delay you keep you stagnant just not be where you want to be in life because of the voices on social media think about it when it was that clubhouse era everybody had a mic 
people couldn't even respect people to end their sentence before they were screaming on the mic trying to over talk to somebody because over talk someone everybody wants to feel validated everybody wants to feel like they know what they're talking about everybody wants to feel they know it all people can't even agree to disagree people barely listen to you finish a sentence before they're trying to reply with the answer because people just want to be heard man i've learned a lot of things being off social media there's perks to social media i'm not going to say there aren't perks i've built my platform on social media i've made a lot of money from social media i've built a community with social media there are definitely perks with social media so don't let this discourage you it's just about finding the balance and the discipline on social media spending less time off social media especially if your social media feed isn't feeding you value if it isn't helping you grow is it isn't giving you peace isn't giving you joy spend less time on apps that aren't putting value into you that's not helping you grow and that goes for people too the more time you spend with people that have nothing going on that are negative small-minded you're going to end up like them it, it, it sucks to say but you are sometimes y'all don't realize how being around someone that's doing so much it can be jealousy for some people, but for others, it can be fuel. It's like, I gotta go get it. I know that the opportunities are endless for me. I know I can be just as great. Be around people that add value, people that reciprocate energy, people who truly love you with genuine intent, people who truly check up on you on, in real life, people that really love you and check up on you in real life. We gotta stop centering our world around the illusions and the false reality on social media. I'm not saying delete social media and be done with it. No, I would never say that because with life, everything has their pros and cons. I'm just saying spend less time on social media and focus on people's illusions and their false reality and some's their real life and spend more time censoring the actions and the energy and the time and the money that you spend around making you a better person, around making your life what you want it to be. My goal right now with social media is to share a lot of love than consuming a lot of toxicity, 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 being open about embracing this change. I think I've always shared my journey and my transformation. It's always going to be on my page. That's just always going to be my life story because I am not perfect. I am human. And even being in the walk that I am now, I am not a saint and I'm not going to pretend to be a saint. Social media has taken people's creativity and their confidence. Because now people are producing things because they see somebody else do it. So it's like, let me hurry up and try to do it. Or because I want to make money because I see them doing it. Or let me say this and do this because they are saying this and doing that. So what I'm doing now isn't really what I want to do. But I'm doing it because I'm trying to prove something to my haters. Or like even me, when I did my flat iron, yes, that ended up being a great thing. And that's something that came from people talking about me. But that's something also that was not in my plan problem too like we got to stop worrying so much about our haters and just do what we love yes that end up being a great thing but that also could have been a bad thing to start a business based off what my haters said luckily i did hear it made sense but things like that now i didn't open up a business that i never even had planned to do because of what some haters said because of what negative people said i've invested this money into a flat iron business because of my haters yes it was successful God be the glory. I'm thankful. I'm blessed. But it could have been a move gone wrong based off voices that I was influenced by to do it, if that makes sense. There's a lot of hurt people on social media. There's a lot of negative people. It's a lot of toxic people. So you just got to keep it to a minimum. And I always tell you, social media can be a great thing. You are able to follow who you want. You can filter your timeline. Um, but because everybody wants to be liked and validated, we follow people that we don't really like. We keep up with people that we don't really like. We don't like people and don't even know why we don't like people. We just don't like people because somebody else don't like people. So once again, it goes back to the influence of social media. I just want to spread love. I want to continue to share this new journey as I've always shared all my transformation. This is a new transformation of mine. This is where God has placed me. I'm happy. I can honestly say I have been at peace. I have been at peace, y'all. Like, I've just been feeling so, 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 so good. I'm so excited about what God is going to do. I smile just thinking about it. Um, I could cry really thinking about it, but God has just been amazing. So I'm excited for what's next. I'm sure y'all want to know what's next, India. Are you deleting social media? Are you not going to be on social media? Are you about to go back off social media after these events? Y'all, moving forward, I am back on social media. 
I did what needed to be done. Um, a lot has happened since I've been off social media. I'm going to share in the next video. I just wanted to let y'all know why I got off social media. Like I said, I do think social media is an amazing thing. It has helped me make me who I am. It has helped me make a lot of money. I love y'all. I thank y'all for being so kind and caring and so genuine. And I'm excited to just share this new journey with y'all. I hope that I can help people embrace change and want to grow as well. Getting through the tough times, celebrating the high times. I will definitely be in my subscriptions. I will say that I'm going to change being so accessible. I feel like I've overshared a lot with people who are feel like are minded spirits and people just looking to see what I'm doing that I am going to stay more personable inside of my subscriptions. And when it comes to the public, I, I'll still be, you know, of course being booked for events and different things that's in the will for me from God. But I just won't be so accessible. And that's even in real life with people moving forward. I'm just gonna to continue to share my light with y'all, continue to just grow and show y'all my process, my journey, the ups, the downs, the lows, the highs, the wins, the losses. And I hope that I can continue to inspire people, continue to motivate people. But this is my new life. I am not going backwards. So if I can end this video with anything, it would be filter who you follow, watch what you consume yourself with and what you center your life around and have balance and discipline when it comes to social media. Because social media can take you into a rabbit hole and it can either make you make good decisions or bad decisions. So as someone who's grown my platform and truly have been blessed by social media, I'm not going to say delete your accounts and you know take breaks if that's not something you have to do. I would challenge you to take a break and just see what life is like without social media, without so many different voices, without comparing yourself, without feeling left out, without knowing what's going on, because it honestly was like a whole different world. Not knowing the tea, not knowing the gossip, not knowing the latest song that came out, not knowing the negative news, because I don't even watch the news. I used to be so big on watching the news and I'm like, they're controlling their narrative. So that's even a whole thing too. Um, and just being in this walk, y'all, honestly, my spiritual eyes have opened me up to a lot of the things that's always been in plain sight, but that I could never see until I became more spiritual inside my walk. And that's just a different story that we'll talk about in another video. But I love y'all. Definitely use social media for what it's worth, but definitely learn how to balance and have discipline so that it doesn't consume you and that you don't follow the wrong people and the wrong voices. I have so much to catch y'all up on. So the next video, I will give y'all my life update and what happens behind the scenes during my break from social media. But I love y'all. I just wanted to get y'all updated on what's been going on and I cannot wait to see y'all. So make sure if you're in Atlanta, September 16th, I have two events that I'm doing in Atlanta, September 16th on the same day, sharing my testimony. And I'm so excited to just be able to change lives and hopefully impact a lot of different women and individuals who just want to embrace change and just grow with God. So I love y'all and I cannot wait to see y'all on the next update.